and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video by me, Foxy no Tail, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival Realm. And today I am going to be working in the nether, probably with Slack. He's not around at the moment, but hopefully he'll be back soon. And I, what I want to do is I want to finally join up all of the nether tunnels and make them look half decent because our nether is a mess. Now, the bit that's loaded, the main nether hub, is amazing. And I would like it if me and Slack could do something that was on par with that. But we don't want to go with necessarily the same design. So at the moment, what we've got, well, there we go, is we've got what's Lloyd did, which is all of these amazing, like, uh, I think they're uh, like supposed to be a little bit like Fallout shelter type things. So we've got these amazing tunnels like this. I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to leave those alone. And these come along here. And what I've done is I prepared quite a while ago now this little tunnel here that comes over towards my portal. Now, I don't actually travel down this bit too often. I generally travel down the other bit, down here, the orange one, because this orange one goes over towards Slack Space and it also takes us to our sort of HQ area and where we've got all the mob farm and the squid farm and everything like that. So it all does kind of link round in a way, but it's a bit janky. So what I would like to do before I do anything else is actually see if I can get this area connected up with mine because mine must be somewhere around here i'm just not en entirely sure why where and i don't know which direction to go in that's tizzy's so slacks is going to be this one over here so let's see if we can link those up first and then we'll worry about going to our other ones which are down there so this is slack here so i think mine's that way a bit but we'll, yeah i need to need to find out the coordinates before I do anything, however, I'm going to get my potions box and I'm going to get a fire resistance out because I'm pretty sure digging through this netherrack I am going to die. And uh, I don't want to. I've been I've been doing good at not dying and I don't want to break that habit now. So let's, uh, let's see if we can fly down this very thin corridor. Let's go down here and see if this links up anywhere near mine. It might do. Oh yeah, there's the purple tunnel look. So I don't think mine's going to be too far off really. Yeah, mine's just down at the end of this one. So we're going to probably have to dig a bit of a diagonal tunnel round to Slacks. So mine's here. So Slacks is over in that direction. But I want to know the exact coordinates we need to go to. So if I dig that sort of way, this sort of direction, I think I'm going to end up over somewhere near Slacks portal. I don't think it's going to be exactly diagonal, but I don't think it'll be far off. So let's dig this way and see where we end up. Oh, lava, look out. This is why we needed our fire resistance. And I need blocks in my inventory as well so I can block it up. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to have to take it so I can wade into that and actually deal with it. That's annoying. That's where we get the lava. Doopy doopy doo. There we go. Dealt with like a boss. Ah, there we are. Look. Oh, look. There's Slack's portal. And that's what we've just dug out to ours. So it's nearly in an exact di diangle. Diangle? Diagonal line. So now all I've got to do is basically just dig a slightly less diagonal line like this and they'll link up perfectly very good very good indeed well i've dug quite a nice big diagonal tunnel over between them both that should give us plenty of space to start working with now i know that zloy has got big plans for the nether for hub and i know that he plans on extending it to all of the base locations so this area that i'm digging out here slack and i are probably not going to fiddle with too much without speaking to zloy because it needs to be in keeping with zloy's original designs but the actual area of the hub that we're going to be working on if we go back this way we get to our little secret area which takes us over to our mob farm and things so i think what we're going to have is like a big secret door here and then that's going to lead us through there and over to our mob farm so i need to kind of dig all of this area out so we've got plenty of room for all of the redstone and all of the stuff coming up to it so yeah i'm gonna dig it i'm just gonna dig until slack gets here basically and then i can talk to slack about it all and we'll go from there all right well i've just about burnt through my second pickaxe and i now have one two three four five nearly five shulker well, in fact five shulker boxes full now that i've got all this in there as well and something interesting has happened there is a lot of lag even though i'm the only person on right now it's expected with bedrock edition on realms but yeah a lot of block breaking lag and a lot of things are pinging back again after they've broken them but look at that i've managed to get lava to stay exactly where it was because because of lag basically i broke the blocks around it and it uh, started to fall down and then it pinged back to where it was which is interesting so i'm basically just going around at the minute breaking the ceiling i don't know why i'm even bothering to do this because we're not even working in this area today we're going to be working behind our secret door but i kind of just feel like it's it's useful it'll be useful to be able to fly around in this space and get from one place to another 
Okay, there we go. That's pretty much the entire room. I say room. It's not really a room, is it? It's just an area of the nether. But that, yeah, that's pretty much all of that mined out. I'm not going to bother making the ceiling all nice and pretty. It really doesn't matter. It's only so we can get through easily. So now I can get easily from Slack's base to my base through the nether and then to the shopping area. Either that... In fact, the shopping area is actually quicker probably to go to that way. So I might dig it out all that way at some point, but not today. The next thing I'm going to do, though, is I am going to go through there and actually link up where we need to be for our mob farm and over here because it's a really weird stupid corridor system let's see if i can show you what we do we basically oh man here we go lag we go through here fly all the way down here and then we take a sharp turn and we go this way and then we go all the way along here and then we take a sharp turn and then we go this way so that's silly as far as i'm concerned we might as well just go diagonally so i'm going to basically do what i just did dig diagonally and hopefully hopefully make it match up hopefully i won't miss the point too far or too much okay i have just about burnt through five pickaxes altogether i have now got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nearly twelve shulker boxes full of netherrack i've got a reasonable amount of quartz coming together as well and I've done a lot of digging. Not in here. If we fly through that tiny little hole there like that, you can see I have dug a diagonal corridor out all the way down to this portal, which takes us to where I think that we're going to be doing a raid farm at some point. And then this bit, which we already have, that goes down to our mob farm. Why can't I fly? There we go. And there we go. Look, all the way down to our mob farm. So it's not a diagonal line all the way. This is what we already had. But I did the diagonal line to where that other portal was. So we can pretty much get straight back relatively easily so we can build a tunnel down here and it has taken me an extraordinarily long amount of time and these ones are still empty but i need to go and repair my stuff now so i'm going to go and do that hopefully by the time i finish that slack will be back and we'll actually be able to do some things together that will be nice okay even more time has passed i've been to re repair my tools yet again slack still not here and i'm accumulating a ridiculous amount of netherrack which i really don't have any purpose for so what i thought i'd do is build an amazing furnace array so we can smelt it all into nether brick that'd be good wouldn't it so uh, i guess i've got to try and yeah carry all of this junk with me oh man oh not to worry yeah let's go get all this go over to the mob farm area and we're gonna go and build a nice big amazing furnace array over there okay i'm back over here this thing's still pumping out bone meal and what i'm gonna do is i'm also gonna set up a little bamboo farm a little uh, manual not manual a bone meal bamboo farm that we can use some of this bone meal for in order to grow the bamboo so we've got some fuel for this furnace array but i'm gonna build the furnace array first then i'll worry about the fuel well, this is interesting. Uh, a couple of people have logged on, Prowl and Tis Tom, and I am getting horrendous lag. Watch this. When I break this scaffolding, it goes one block at a time. Look, how ridiculous is that? It's crazy. I've never known lag that bad before. That's that's very bad lag. That's bad. Uh, it could be me. Could be this area here that we're... No, I can't even fly. Whoa, there we go. Now I'm flying. I say it could be this area that we're loading here. I don't think it is because it was okay when I was on my own. So, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying anything, but I think we all know what I'm getting at. <laughs> Hashtag blame proud. Gonna wait for a long time before they fall down. Come on, please just go down. Please. I mean, it could be to do with the, like, zero tick thing over there. I wonder if I turn that off if it makes any difference. Let's turn that off. Let's just see what we got in there. Oh, a reasonable amount. A reasonable amount. Right, now let's go and see if that's made any difference. No. None at all. None whatsoever. Okay, here is the basics of it. I've done this a little bit different to how I usually do it, but it's pretty much the same idea. There are basically two rings of furnaces that go round and round in loops, and we've got a clock here. Normally, I do a furnace clock, but because pistons and things have changed a little bit on their timings, we can actually get away with this type of clock now and still fire correctly. And as you can see, we're yeah, the, all of the furnaces are moving around. I don't know if they're going fast enough, though. They do seem to be going pretty quick, but I've got no hoppers or anything lined up to this yet. So I'm going to do that now and see what sort of speeds we get on this. Because the last design I did was ideal. Because Oh, hang on. Skeleton! Skeleton attack! Yeah, I was going to say the last design I did on this was really good. Because 
the furnaces moved just fast enough that they would fully smelt two items by the time they got back here and they would unload both of those items so they were the speed they went round was the perfect speed for the size of the ring so i don't know how this one's going to go but we'll see in a minute so let's get the hoppers in and find out okay so if you haven't seen one of these before the way we do the hoppers is relatively easy the fuel ones we're going to put one hopper facing into that furnace there and one hopper facing into that furnace there then all we need on top of that is basically a double chest and we can put the fuel in that's nice and easy then we want the items chest where we're going to be putting the items in similar sort of thing but this time it needs to go on top so we're going to put one there and one there and then a hopper going into that one and a hopper going into that one and then we can have a double chest on here and that will filter into both of those sides individually and then we want two hopper lines coming out from underneath one from the back row and one from the front row it should be that each ring needs its own hopper line for the speed that the item should come out so we're going to put a block there like that to put that one in and then i'm going to put a hopper Ooh, tricky tricky uh actually let's not do that let's put the block there and have that hopper going in there and then we'll bring that one across to there so that hopper is going to take out of this row of furnaces it might take some out of that row as well possibly but they should mostly be taken out of this hopper here and then all we need at the front really is a double chest there as well i mean the more chests you've got at the front the more items you can store in there but that's basically the basics of the design if we were then to put a load of the nether rack in there it would filter into the hoppers same sort of thing if we did it in there and then if we put our fuel in there it's going to filter in as well so that's that's pretty much it there's not really much else to it than that believe it or not all these items we've got over here all these chests and hoppers and i'm short of wood to make my own sets of chests i've got no wood to make chests with i need to i need to fill up my wood boxes with actual decent wood oh man okay then i've pretty much run out of resources i've not gone back to get any wood but i've got this like this what i'm gonna do now you'll have to uh excuse the fact that there's lots of wolf stone apparently uh, prowl and tiz are pranking each other with wolves <laughs> i've got some shulker boxes here with some nether racking so i'm going to plonk those up here i'm going to fill this chest with that and then i'm going to grab some fuel get that running and then hopefully we'll get some stuff coming out of here but my pockets are full of rubbish as usual let's get it all gone come on go in let me put you in the chest there we go so they're all in there now what i can do with these shulker boxes i can actually bring those down here pop one on there pop one on there they're going to fill up now i just need some fuel fuel would be useful right now i'm not sure there's a great deal comes through this system that would work for fuel other than bows we could fill it full of bows and run it off that but they're not going to last very wrong and very wrong very long i don't think we've got many sticks down here from witches so uh can't really use those either although slack's got millions of sticks back at his yeah three stacks of sticks no we're not gonna be able to do that we're gonna have to use actual fuel which i'm actually really short on i've only got 45 blocks of coal left i don't know if i've got anything in my overflow box maybe let's have a look in my overflow box see if i've got anything in there no this is it this is all my fuel i've got let's break it down into coal blocks let's put it in the system oh in fact we need to turn the system on as well so let's give that lever a flick there that will turn it on hopefully if all's going well please turn on there we go it's starting to go and all we've got to do now is just chuck all of this coal into here there we go and we should start seeing the furnaces light up and go round and we should start seeing stuff come into here as it gets around to the other side now i'm not sure if i could actually maybe get it to go slightly faster than this it seems a little bit slow compared to my old design so maybe I could tweak a few of the timings here and get this to go slightly faster, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Not really. That's pretty much just stopped it dead. Well, it's going and they're all lit. Are we getting things coming through? We are. We're getting things coming through nice and quickly. That's good. It's all coming together rather nicely. I've no idea whether or not it's efficient or not because I've changed the design, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. There's nothing in those as they're coming round. Are they fully smelted when they get to here? Oh, they're actually they're over smelting by the time they get there. So it is. It, the clock is too slow, but they are all coming through. Yeah, something's quite not quite right with those timings. I'm going to have to uh, sort that out when when it's not quite so laggy here. But yeah, it's, it's working. It's going round. Things are spitting out, but it's not. It's not nowhere near as good as my old design. 
Okay then, I've got a little bit of a crude bamboo farm going on here. It's not the best thing in the world. It's certainly uh, not going to be winning any prizes, but it should do the job for now. What we've got is four sticks of bamboo with four dispensers behind them, shooting them with bow meal. The pistons are coming out, breaking them off, and they're going down this section of chess here. And eventually they'll link up with these hoppers here, which is the fuel line for our furnaces. I've not linked them up yet because I want to create a bit of a backlog before we start. And you might notice that this one here is not actually getting in any bone meal and the reason for that is because if we go down here we've got a big chest down here feeding into another chest full of bone meal which is going up a dropper elevator and yes i'm using a dropperator rather than a <laughs> rather than a water stream just because well i thought it'd be easier but to be honest i don't think it is going to be i think it's going to cause more problems than it serves so yeah that's coming up here and that is then linking into this chest here which then goes into this hopper minecart and that hopper minecart is supposed to evenly distribute all of the bone meal between it but the problem is it only ever gets three pieces from there because that's how slow the system is coming up so what i need is a faster system to get it out of that chest from down there and up here so i think a water elevator is going to be the key to that okay we have a bubble elevator in there now hopefully this will do the trick let's hop down and turn it on and see what happens we just need to put that redstone there that should start firing up i still don't know if it's going to be quick enough I think it's definitely faster than dropper elevator though, but I'm not sure. Kind of need a quicker clock on it somehow. I don't know how we're going to get a quicker clock on there. Could we do it with a redstone torch? I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be powerful enough, is it? Oh, it is. Oh yes, that's what we want. Look at that go. That's amazing. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Right. So if we go to the top now, that chest should be absolutely filling up with all of that, and the hopper minecart should be hopefully being able to actually get it from one side to the other is it is it coming through into this one no it's still not reaching oh that hopper can't actually get it into that chest quick enough look that's where the backlog is hmm interesting okay what if then what if what if what if what if what if let's waste some more resources here oh man i ain't got any more wood left ah right let's break this chest and what this will go in the dispensers now because that hopper minecart's going to pick it up unless I get there first, which I don't think I did. Put the chest there and then have that hopper there and that hopper there running into it. And now the hopper minecart can pick up from underneath all of them and it can filter through into the chest. That may solve the pro problem. Why is it stopped? Oh, of course, that's locking that hopper as well, isn't it? Oh, oh, okay. Um, in that case then, what we need is that there. And then, oh man, we're getting complicated now. We got this, guys. We got this. It kind of works for a bit and then it locks up. I know it's locking that hopper, but it's, it's yeah, not ideal that. Not ideal. We can almost get away with that, but it breaks after a little while. That's so fast. That's amazing. But it, I just can't get it to stay. It just keeps breaking. Ah, oh, but we need it. Is that stopping that flowing down, though? No, it's still flowing down. That's good. Let's hope it doesn't lock up, lock up this time. There we go. That's that sorted out. But now it's stopped again. It's locked up. No! Rubbish! Oh, man. We need a fast clock down here. There is a fast clock, I know, but it would be always on. So we're going to have to use that, I think. And it's the same, pretty much the same clock we used on this. Just a sticky piston clock. It's the fastest clock I know. Apart from the comparator clock, which always breaks. What if we put an observer on as well? We might be able to get it to double up. Oh no, I'm going to lose my piston now. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, caught it. Yes. And what if we do that? There we go. That's what we wanted. Double firing off that. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Lovely, lovely drop o'clock. Now, that's always going to be on. That's the only problem with that. Unless we, well, we can turn it on and off with a lever. Maybe we can use the same lever that we've got going up for the rest of the clock. We move this across so that we can get the whole clock started with the same bit. And then we can, yes, it's all coming together nicely. Now, if we put the lever on there, look, we can stop both clocks. Yep, yeah, we got this, guys. We got this. Okay, I've made a few changes. So uh, the bone meal is still flying through. We've got this clock here. I've got an on-off switch, which will turn the whole thing on and off there now, which is good. And what that links to is just a redstone torch tower that goes to a sticky piston 
that is pushing a block out that's basically stopping and starting this clock and we've had to have a little bit of a repeater on extent on extend there just to lock that out otherwise that back goes backwards and forwards as well that's running nicely everything's running in there all four of them are because we've got a bit of a backlog now which we, which is good that chest still isn't picking up a great deal why is that is it all back where's it backing up or is it just all coming through oh it's catching up there look so we could probably do with some ice blocks somewhere but there's nowhere to put them hmm well it's working one way or another it's working it is catching up it's backlogging they're all backlogging in here as well which is good it's pumping out plenty of sugarcane no it's not sugarcane is it bamboo and we're filling up that chest there so i should soon be able to start actually running this into the furnaces and seeing how long it will last for i'd quite like it to go a bit quicker but there's a lot of lag today and i don't know i don't know if i really dare go a little bit quicker let's just see if we can no so that's that's like the ideal oh i see we've got another one up here though Oh, we might be able to go a bit quicker. Ah, uh, there we go. Look at that. That's loads faster. There we go. That's better. What I've done is I've taken the repeater out of the clock and I've put another redstone torch on here so that we've got slightly less delay and I've put that repeater back up there. So we've got, yeah, that's chucking out bone, not bone meal, bamboo. Words today. Words today. You're not going well. Slack's going to be so proud of me when it's done. I, I It's actually like past midnight now i'm on my own <laughs> i'm really tired it's probably a complete mess slack's gonna come look at this in the morning and tell me how ridiculous it is and how easy how much easier i could have done it but i've probably made a complete meal of it for no particular reason right need to place this rail down without stopping the minecart now go there we go look at that yes now we're talking now it's going to pick up everything they'll be picking all that up out of there nicely yeah yeah that's good we've got to get that block out of there though that's what we want what we want to see so that should be equally distributing all the way along now so that should be filling up as well as it comes past which it is oh great good oh good excellent so we whoa okay now these hoppers are backing up hmm uh what do i do here okay what we're gonna do then is we're gonna double up these hoppers underneath there and we're gonna suck the items out even faster because that's the kind of person that I am. I'm a, I'm a hopper sucker. There we go. Put that one there and that one there. And that should hopefully pull those out a little bit quicker and allow that to not backlog. Maybe. We'll see. If I take all of the ones that's in those top hoppers out and clear that up, we'll see if that backlog's still or not. So let's grab all of those out of there. Out of there. Yes, they are just about keeping up with each other but now they're going to backlog probably in these hoppers here yeah <laughs> oh well <laughs> right let's uh let's turn this thing on and see if we can actually get these things smelting now that we've got the bamboo fuel coming through all right connect that there that will give the fuel into the furnaces the furnaces can start going you can see it's already coming through into this one there i didn't mean to stick that on the wall right let's turn on the furnace array oh that's the point it might not have time to actually pick up enough bamboo to get all the way round. Bamboo not, might not be a very good fuel for this. I didn't think this through. Oh, and now the whole thing's ground to a halt. Way too many things going on. I'm causing huge amounts of lag. I'm sorry. Yeah, look. Oh, we don't get enough bamboo in. That's okay. We'll just turn down this furnace. <laughs> Slow it all down. It's too fast. Boxing Hotel doing bad things. Making everything slow. Right, let's put all those on maximum. Slow this thing right down. Like that. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get enough bamboo in there to go around. We're not going to, are we? Bamboo's the wrong fuel for this. It couldn't be a worse fuel. I mean, look, look at, we get a few in there. But by the time they've got there, they've already run out. They're not actually smelting anything. No! Oh, what a waste of time that was, building that bamboo farm. What an epic waste of time. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm stupid. So, what have we learned today, then? We've learned it's possible to make an epic bamboo farm. We've learned it's possible to make an epic smelter array. But we've learned it's not possible to use the epic bamboo farm as the fuel for the epic furnace array. It's just not going to happen. Just one of those things is not going to happen, sadly. 
So uh, there's very little I can do about that, sadly. But not to worry. Not to worry. I've enjoyed doing this. It's been interesting. It's been exciting. But I think I'm probably going to have to leave it there, to be honest, for the day. What I'm going to do in future is probably make some sort of kelp farm and turn that into fuel instead. Because we're going to need fuel for this. We're going to need serious fuel. And we've got all of these drops coming through, but nothing to give us any fuel. But we've got stuff we can make amazing kelp farm with to, to fuel it. So be a bit of crafting involved, but it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Okay, it appears I've discovered yet another bug. Can you see this area down here is perfectly well lit? There's loads of light here, yet a creeper has managed to spawn there. And he's not tracking me because I'm not on I'm on half slabs, so I can't lure him over. If I knock him in the water, he's not gonna despawn and he's gonna lower the rates of our mob farm. So I need to get him over to me. So I need some slabs, which means I need to bring him towards the farm stuff, which means he could go boom. Which I don't really fancy I don't really want him to go boom. But there's very little I can do about it. I'm gonna have to try and lure him over. But yeah, that's not good, because that means creepers can spawn on any of these farms that have a top slab. Now, can he see me? Are you going to come over? Come on, I've just made it really easy for you. Come on. Really? The one time I want a creeper to... <gasps> oh, there we go! And he blew up my water thing. Great, thanks, creeper. Thanks very much. Ah, oh, yeah, pain in the butt. <laughs> Stupid creepers. Thought I'd finish for the day. Looks like I'm going back to work. Now, potentially fish can spawn in this water that's la licking over the side as well. And <gasps> ruin our fish farm! No! Oh, oh my goodness me, I'm going to be in trouble. I am going to be in trouble with Mr. Lizard. He's going to kill me. Thanks, Creeper, for making my... Oh, I hate Creepers. 